All right, welcome back. Today's video, uh, let's talk about some more Toyota maintenance. As uh, my channel does everything, I've tried to do a niche channel before finance. I just get bored. I run out of ideas. So I thought, why not just do everything I do, right? Put out there what I film, what I think is interesting, or what I think is useful to other people. And uh, like with YouTubers, it's um, good and bad. And what I, one term I like, I heard was YouTube University. There are a lot of things from 10 year old videos up to recent videos that tell you and show you how to do things from experts posting their video, from posting their day at work, uh, say working on cars, they just film it. You're just there as a buddy watching, he's explaining stuff. And I'll show that one guy, he's really good. And another channel is uh, doing mainly with the Tacoma, a niche specific channel, which when people say you can't do niche, but you do run out of ideas eventually. Um, but in this case, this guy is professional, detailed, and the videos remove any doubt that you may have in doing the work yourself. Why do you want to do the work yourself, especially with automotive? You get to know the vehicle. You know that if you have any aptitude, any um, any ethics or any just what do you call it, work ethic that you want to do a good job, you know that job's going to be done hopefully right, given the right instruction and the right common sense and you know safety of course. So many times you go to mechanics, there are good mechanics out there, but in general it's not their car. They are there to rotate the vehicles in and out of the shop ASAP, as soon as possible, maximizing, you know, because they're charging out, say, an oil change at half an hour. They don't want to spend more than a half an hour because they can't bill you that. They say, we're going to price it out a half an hour, parts, labor, and they want that car out of there. Uh, does that mean sometimes they rush and forget things? Yeah. Uh, most Toyotas have the um, guard. The un under engine guard, the shield, which is a piece of crap. I hate that thing, but it serves a purpose, keeps mud out, keeps debris, keeps rocks, keeps from damaging the bottom of the engine. But they charge to take that off, and all those bolts get, bolts get seized and they break them off. They'll put it back on, but they won't tell you they broke two bolts. It's like, come on, at least tell me. And, uh, you know, you broke the bolts off, that's fine. I'll pay you 10 bucks to freaking whatever. Can you get a weld, weld a nut on there and just bust those bolts out so I can replace them? Just little crap like that. And or leaving tools in the engine bay, that's common. Or just not not actually doing the job, I've heard. Um, or drain your battery and you get your car back, the battery's dead. But that was years ago, I had problems. Anyway, the point is, YouTube University is there in a specific niche from stuff I've done over the past year from fixing my refrigerator. Instead of replacing it with a thousand dollar refrigerator, I learned on YouTube, what the problem was, diagnose, troubleshoot, and boom, the fridge is running. Thank God. Same with cars. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Especially now with cars are 90000 bucks for a stupid pickup truck. Ridiculous. Car insurance is through the roof. I did a video on that. Two cars moved to Progressive, and I've with teenage drivers, I was able to get it down to 4000 a year. Yeah, 4000 And the cars are a 2012 and a 2016. These are not new cars. It's ridiculous. And before we had State Farm and Progressive split, State Farm wanted 3000 just on a 14 or a 12 year old car. Give me a break. And uh, they asked why we switched and we said cost, man, because it is going to be over a couple years. The insurance is going to outweigh the freaking cost of the vehicle. It's ridiculous. Who can afford this? And now with the hurricanes, all the cars underwater and even North Carolina, Tennessee, all these flooded vehicles are totaled. Uh, once a car hits salt water, it's gone. Anyway, cost of vehicles, DIY is important. Some stuff you cannot actually do yourself. Uh, you throw the towel and know you can't do it based on the cost of equipment and skill and licensing. The one that comes to mind is HVAC and tire alignment. If unless you know, I mean, that's that takes a computer too. But HVAC work, uh, AC work on your car, compressor, uh, Freon whatever, oiling it, uh, what's the other, evaporator, all that crap, and then evacuating the system, filling the system, checking for leaks. You do have to suck it up and pay, pay a tech. And the thing with the Tacoma, they have a very weak air conditioning. Piece of crap. 
uh even on a good day i just i replaced the in cabin air filter had it charged it just does not blow cold the sequoia we have is a nice is a freezer i love it that has a very good ac on it all right let's get into it again so why diy i explained why know your vehicle if you have skills some people don't know how to turn a wrench and there you got to throw the towel in and just pay someone else therefore find a good shop find a reputable shop ask for your parts back they, they know why you're asking for the parts back, the used ones, because they know shops will rip you off. Say, oh, we did the oil, but they never gave you the crush washer, or they never changed the filter, or they never put oil. You know, you gotta, you had, definitely have to be aware today. Uh, it's cheaper for people to scam people. What are you going to do? Not come back? Big deal. That's the way they think. So go ask for your parts back, spark plugs, air filters, just to show they replaced it. I don't know. And after you get it back, go check the oil in the parking lot. Check that the oil looks fresh on the stick. Uh, check that if you got a new belt put on, serpentine belt, check that it looks new. Check the air filter. Just learn how to do this stuff. You can always follow up with the mechanic. Uh, make sure all the lug nuts are on your wheel if they took the wheel off. You know? I mean, you can be go through life stupid, but you can also be smart about it. And uh, have the aptitude to do it yourself, and uh, you will go far. Uh, troubleshooting. A lot of people can't do it. I get it. I understand. I'm not picking on people. But if you have any kind of troubleshooting, hands-on desire and an aptitude to grab a wrench, know how to torque things, know how to jack a car up and safely, how to know when not to touch things that are hot, <laughs> you'll do that once. And just, just common sense and wanting to do a good job and fix it and following instructions. So with YouTube University, boom, I found this channel, Team Oil Drop for the Tacoma, for the win. A lot of these jobs, I just never thought to do. I never thought I could do them myself. And then Toyota sells their car sometimes. You In my brain, um, low, zero maintenance will last forever. No, you got to maintain your vehicles. And you got to maintain them to make them last. And like I said, the reason you want them to last is because new vehicles are actually junk now. Toyotas are falling apart. The engines are blowing up on Tundras. Um, they're switching motors up. It's like, don't break... Don't fix what's not broken, right? And they want to come out with the new Tacoma Motors. Ah, just stop it. Stop the madness. Ah, it just drives you nuts. And to buy a truck for 60000 for a small truck and uh, Tundras are hundred k forget it. Forget it. Yeah. But anyway, just learn how to do this stuff yourself. And uh, let's get into it. So Team Oil Drop, Niche, Tundra, I mean Tacoma Specifics. But again, the work with most Toyos should cross over and it gives you a good concept of what to do, how to organize. And um, this guy's awesome. He's very organized with his videos. Almost, I think he has a, he's in the military. I think he's learned a lot of this organization stuff. So he tells you what you need up front, which mods, and uh, has almost everything covered. So stuff I thought, like I was saying, I didn't know I could do. Watching his videos gave me the confidence. So, so much so I've done it on the Sequoia, in addition to the uh, Tacoma. Some things I'll show you I've done in a second. But if you go through his channel, so it's Team Oil Drop on YouTube, Team Oil Drop. And uh, he also has a Discord, which is very nice. You go out there with like-minded people. You can join it, post questions. People are helpful. Like, what's a torque setting on a U-bolt on the rear axle? They'll say 53 pounds. They'll know. They'll help you. And or they'll give you the a PDF of the document, where to look. So again, this is university. Learn, learn, learn. Learn a new skill. Sure, you may have to buy some tools, but buy only what you need. Don't go overboard. So let's browse through real quick. You can see he does transmission filter inspection. This scares me because you got to get, uh, you got to, um, it's your transmission. <laughs> and then you got to get it into a computer mode to check the temperature and then refill. This one is the one I've not done yet. Transmission filter inspection, or even just the flush and fill. You know, fill and replace on the transmission. I haven't done that because it, it involves tricking, you know, setting up the computer in the truck to run the temperature up. And then you got a couple minutes. It's intense. And then you got to check the fluid level because there's no dipstick on these trannies, trans transmissions, right? So you got to check uh, through the fill plug or the, um, oh, there's an extra plug on the bottom of the tranny. Anyway, uh, AC drain mod. I knew there was an issue with the, uh, Hose on the air AC dripping onto the frame causing rust. Rust is bad. There's a mod. You buy a hose. I just ordered it. It's like eight bucks and, yes, and a clamp. And you just extend the hose down until it drips below the frame. 
Done. That'll save your vehicle over time so it doesn't rust. Mass airflow sensor, I had no idea this existed, but in, uh, from your air box, there's a little sensor down the line, down the tube, and it uh, detects how much air is flowing over the sensor, and that ties into your computer. Efficiency, efficiency, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's ways to clean it and check it. It's fragile, you gotta be careful, but there's a special spray for it, and that goes in with the throttle body right here. Cleaning that, little things that you can do if you're slow, you know, take your time, watch the videos, do the work, and don't feel rushed to do it. Make sure you have enough time because you're learning and don't break anything. So go slow, go deliberate. If you're not sure, stop, rewatch the video, maybe download a manual, but take your time. Along with this stuff, he also talks about mods. Some are good. I'm just not, I just don't want to spend money. Stuff you don't need, but again, maintenance is a key to keep your vehicle going. And uh, that's my big thing right now. Cameras are good too, because if someone hits you or you hit someone, the camera doesn't lie. Uh, Sumo Springs, these are a solution if you're up to, for the leaf springs in the back. If you're hauling stuff, it helps, helps the bottom out process and doesn't make the bottom sag. Uh, there's a tune package, because I always noticed my Tacoma was kind of sluggish, and they did that for EPA reasons. The damn government, once again, sticking their hands into a private product to make our lives miserable. But you can get a tune package and uh, take it to a, one of these tuners and they'll tune the thing up so it runs like, oh my God, this is a beast. Cause it is a V6, the one I got. It doesn't run like, it runs like a V4, the way Toyota tuned it out of the factory. Again, and go through some of the stuff, covers, a lot of accessory stuff. Rust prevention is key. If you live up north in the rust belt, you wanna spray your vehicle under the thing. It's not that difficult. You know, crawl under, maybe maybe jack it up safely. You get this uh, fluid film or surface shield, and you spray it. You can get a spray can, just coat some stuff. If it's not flaking off, you got to remove the flaky stuff. But it shows you, again, how to protect your vehicle to make the body last longer. Because once you start rusting, man, that's a whole, that's a, that gets expensive, and it actually shortens the life of your vehicle. All right, some other stuff. Headlights are key because, you know, the stock lights are not as bright as aftermarket stuff you can buy for LEDs. Uh, da, 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 da. What are some good stuff I used? Mats. There's ways to make the oil changing cleaner and faster. And what else? Some of the stuff he does, and he'll admit it's just not worth it. Like the cabin noise reduction. It's a truck. You're not, and you know, people put big tires on. You're gonna have road noise from that. I mean, you're not gonna get around the noise reduction. It's a car. It's a truck, not a car. Oh, what do we got here? I'm trying to see some other stuff that was useful to me. So if you go down to the bottom, you know, brake fluid stuff, PCV valve. This thing, you should replace this thing because I pulled it out of my Sequoia and my Tacoma. The thing still kind of worked, but it's gunked up with, uh, with um, muck, sly, sludge, you know, because it goes into the engine and that blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's a little $10 part. You know, you got to be careful with it because it's plastic. So again, you can do this stuff, but be careful because if you break something off, then you got a whole nother hour trying to fish out the threads and the stuff you broke. So go slow. Something's not coming through or it's not breaking free. Stop. Uh, on bolts especially, if stuff doesn't feel like it's coming free, what I use is PB Blaster. I spray it. If I know I'm going to do a, a serious job on some of the block head drain plugs to drain the coolant on the Sequoia, the truck is 12 years old. Oh my God, this is going to be a nightmare. I sprayed them a week ahead of time with PB Blaster and I sprayed them like every day just to coat it in. So when I went to loosen those drain valves, boom, piece of cake. 10 millimeter boom came right off and they're only torqued to nine pounds and the brass, I didn't want to strip it because it's in there, it's hard to get. I had extensions, extensions. So yeah, it's just common sense. But again, it shows you how to do that stuff. It's just common sense with, with nuts. It's just bolts, PB Blaster. And then protecting, like I said, is uh, the, the shield stuff and the uh, surface shield uh, for protecting the bottoms. All right. I lost my train of thought there. Yeah, oil change quick guide. There's some stuff in here, just some uh, accessory type stuff. Uh, let's see. Seat jackers were interesting. I didn't know these things existed. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know, what you can do to your truck. These seats sit so low that your legs are sticking straight out on a Tacoma, which causes lower butt, back pain, leg pain. 
you can jack them up with these seat jackers. Boom, it makes a huge difference in comfort and your legs do not ache. It does work. It's amazing. And they're easy to install. Stuff you don't know, but it's easy to do and you can do it yourself. And you know what? They suck. You just take them out. All right. And here it goes. Rear drum brakes, front brakes and rotors. I'm doing that next on the uh, Sequoia. I think they're really bad. So I'm getting psyched up for that. I have to buy a couple tools. I have the caliper spreader already. Uh, the jacks and all that stuff. It's just the fear of everything's going to be rusted, you know, and I'm going to have my PB blaster ready and I got a brake free bar and I got all the torque settings. I got, I'm going to order the OEM. One thing I've learned about anything working on my trucks, my Sequoia and the Tacoma and motorcycles and stuff, OEM all the way. Don't aftermarket only if you can't get OEM. You know, a lot of stuff is Bosch made, which is, you know, then Toyota puts it on in the factory. Uh, but again, OEM, the best you can, it's worth it. It is worth it. Uh, especially fluid. I mean, if you do the right fluids too, watch that. Oh, uh, let's see. Shocks, stuff like that. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, power steering. I didn't know you could flush. Flush and fill. Uh, is that what he calls it here? Drain and fill. Sorry. Flush is a different thing, but drain and fill. And you can recycle in like under an hour your power steering fluid with new stuff by you know, using a little syringe and sucking out the bad stuff, replacing with good stuff, move the wheels back and forth, drive around for a second, do it again, do it six times. It's going to take an hour, but my gosh, then you get new power steering fluid and your power steering motor um, pump is going to last a lot longer and your power steering is going to be buttery smooth. I've done it on the Tacoma and the Sequoia painless. And you just had to buy a $9 syringe pump. Big deal. Again, you do it to a shop. They're going to charge you for the time. You're inconvenienced to wait there, drop it off. And then you might not even get done. It might not even be done correctly. So that's the thing. Learning to know your vehicle. And again, I know people don't have the aptitude for it. I always thought people could do everything. No, some people shouldn't be near or touching a wrench. And I get it. But in that case, you can still watch these videos and learn about what mechanics will be doing to your vehicle. And you can ask questions. Hey, did you do that? Did you do the drain and fill? Would you do the extra stuff? Uh, how many times did you run it through? I mean, it's just knowledge is power. Here's what I just did, the coolant. If we go into the coolant here, I'm going to click on this one. All right. And he's very good, this guy. Right, let's see if it ever loads. I always, all right. Stock's in. Yeah, things are running slow. Hold on. Drain and fill. All right. There we go. It's a drain and fill. He talks about what he's going to do. He gives you a little intros. This is cool right here. Very professional. I don't know if this is his military training, but it's, it's awesome. This tells you exactly what you need. So you can use this as a visual reference, a video reference guide for doing any of the work. Look at that. He gives you warnings, what to be careful. Just common sense stuff. You know, goes through. All right, let's go forward. I don't know why this is slow. Uh, it's showing you how to do the drain plug on the engine block for the coolant. Look at that. Even the hose tip worked out for me because before on the Sequoia, it just dripped down on the bottom and uh, made a mess. But anyway, go check this channel out. That's all I wanted to talk about today. And what I've done based on this is... Um, Knowing that you can take care of your vehicle, making it last. And what I've done also is I made a little spreadsheet. And uh, this is just for the Tacoma. And I've done one for Sequoia up here as well. And as I go through and do stuff, I put the oil in, how much, the links where I bought the stuff, uh, the filter types, the torques, uh, rear differential, the type of fluid, the torques, front, same thing, transfer case, same thing, oil, torques. Power steering fluid, coolant. Here's the type of coolant I use, all Toyota stuff. I just gonna stick with Toyota as much as possible. OEM. Uh, let's see. The links, of course, the quantities. And the PCV valve, the part number, the link to it. Mostly Amazon. Again, why not? I have a thing about Amazon. You can return stuff without any hassle. Uh, eBay is questionable sometimes. Careful in buying stuff on eBay. <laughs> Even if they say it's new, it's mostly Chinese knockoff. Counterfeit parts, you got to be careful. Just go with Amazon. And mostly Toyota sells on Amazon. Or you can go to a Toyota dealer. They mostly have 
Most of them have an online parts thing. There's a Sparks Auto, which I think is a Toyota dealer. I've been adding in my, my shopping cart there for the brake job, upcoming brake job on a Sequoia. Oh, uh, here we are. I just put some of the stuff I did. The throttle cleaner is the link to the spray at AutoZone. The mass airflow sensor spray. That's going to last a lifetime because you only use a little bit. And how often are you going to be cleaning this thing? There's the air filter part number, the link to it. Uh, cabin air filter, the drive belt. I didn't have done that on Tacoma yet. I'm still under 50K. And here's some of the dates I've done myself. Yesterday I did the colon change cabin, cabin air filter. Hoping that improves the AC, but eh, I doubt it. I think with the trucks AC that took home, I'm not really going on the highway. I'm just going under 35 around town. And it's not it's not enough airflow over the condenser and all that crap to um the comp whatever to get the uh, air cold. Added some surface shield where I saw some uh, dry rusty spots, and then uh, I, I I'm gonna put those bars back on. I don't know why I took them off. And if you look up at my top here. We got the Sequoia and some more, did most of this stuff because this is older, but I try to parallel what I do on the uh, Sequoia with the Tacoma. I think everything's matching. Oh, even the drive shaft. I had no idea. I thought they were already like a closed sealed system, you know, already greased, but no, there's grease fittings on the drive shaft and uh, just a matter of learning and four wheel drives, you got to get up in there, but it can be done if you're, you know, if you want to keep your drive shaft going. Boom, just get in there and pump some new grease into it. And uh, there you go. Oh, I had a washer pump go on a Sequoia. Put the parts number in the links. Anyway, this is what I do. Uh, whole point. The whole point of this video is just there are good, yeah, good resources out there. YouTube University for maintaining your vehicle. Uh, this guy, Team Drop, is great. The, the Discord is great. And learn a lot. And people are helpful. People want to help. Uh, my goal is to keep the truck, barring it being wrecked, God forbid, is keeping that truck as long as I can and replacing stuff as it goes, maintaining when I can, changing the fluids. You can, again, pay someone if you don't want to do yourself, but then you can watch the videos and go and ask accordingly the questions from the shop. Did you do this? Just to make you realize and comfortable that they did the work. That's the biggest thing for me, the fear is. These guys, they're not making much money. The shops are ripping them off. The McTechs aren't getting paid. And you just wonder if they really want to work that hard. I mean, the shops need to pay the techs more money. Yeah, right. Good luck. Uh, yeah, but do it yourself. Cars will last. And this is a great resource. Hope this helps. Again, this applies to any car. You'll find a guy working on your specific car, I think. But he really nails it. His production style, his organization. And the videos are short and sweet. Not like this one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, do the work yourself. Learn learn how to do stuff. There's stuff on drywall. You guys get it. You can fix most stuff. Electrical stuff scares me. I thought I was good at it. I don't I, I can replace a motor on a pull pump. Uh that's not too bad unless again I ordered something off eBay. The thing blew up right when I plugged it in. I'm like, what? Chinese part. I'm like, this is not right. And so I just returned out. Hopefully I'll get my money back. But that's why I learned not to buy motorized parts auto parts, pull, any, you know, stuff like that crap on eBay. I get it off Amazon, easy return, and you can kind of get a reviews of the product and the uh, actual merchant. And yeah, I don't know. Up next for me, like I said, is the front brakes, rotors on the Sequoia. Uh, and I think once I feel comfortable and I've done that, I just, again, I need to find a day that I have a day to do the job so I'm not rushed. Being rushed when you're trying to learn something and do it the first time is not good. You will forget stuff and you may screw up. You know, torques, bolts. Did you put the stuff on right? Did you grease this, this, and this? Take your time. Do it yourself. So I hope this helps. Go forth. Do great things. 